So Trump took the opportunity, I think, to uh, you know get the ball rolling on NAFTA and, and put some pressure and make some noise like he does. I think our representatives, uh, you know, our, our trade ministers, our ambassadors, our prime minister, all really are, if anything, uh, showing us that they're very well, very well aware of the facts and the reality and, and what it really means to consumers. We're milking 160 to 170 cows. Uh, the milking's all day long, so the equipment washes three times a day, but other than that, it's 24-7 out here. These girls eat and rest and uh, approach robots and, and uh, get milked uh, all day long, 365 days a year. It's hard to speculate. Uh, obviously, there's always changes. Supply management's always evolving to meet the marketplace. And that's a lot of what this story is, is our, our system, a new product, uh, you know, the protein concentrates, the various types of them started coming in and, and our system has adapted to be able to supply that domestically. Every trade deal creates more change for us. So depending how that continues to evolve, you know, that would, would answer that question. Uh, I feel dairy farms in Alberta and in Canada are, are pretty competitive in the environment that we're in. You know, given our Canadian, uh, our Canadian environment and consumers demanding, you know, hormone-free milk and all of the quality things that we have to comply with, uh, really, when you look at the price on the store shelf and, uh, and what we do here, I think we're very proud of our Canadian product and, and meeting what most consumers expect.